Welcome to the Todd Newton Morning Show Podcast. Featuring weekly highlights from the most talked about show on the FM dial. Now, with the talk that will keep you talking. Here's Todd Newton and Maria Todd. We're glad you're here with us this morning. It is the Todd Newton Morning Show with Maria Todd. I would... uh, I would like to talk, we, we, you know, we had a couple of things, uh, we're talking work earlier this morning, Maria, and we're going to share with you the words that you never want to put on your resume if you're looking for a new gig right now. But uh, there's the, an interesting statistic that we received via DM here. We get a lot of a lot of activity on the, on the Instagram page over there, Todd Newton Morning Show, and you guys are great about sending me these Hey, Todd, have you heard type things? But before I can talk about them on the radio, you know, I got to go. I got to go do some research. I got to do some fact checking, you know, because the minute I don't do fact checking is the minute somebody's out there laughing and say, hey, if you you send Todd this, he'll say it on the radio. You know, so (laughs) I don't want to be. (laughs) (laughs) You don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. Right. But this is. This is absolutely true. We, you know, our, our crack staff here verified this when it comes to work, you know, there are still some folks that live by that nine to five deal. You know, I don't think it, cell phones ruined that. Don't you think a long time ago, cell phones and emails took the nine to five out of the equation. You know, listen, if you think that, that you're not expected to, to return an email or or respond to a text before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m., man, you're living in the dark ages. But this survey that we found shows that when the clock hits 5 p.m. at the workplace, at the office, at the store, who do you think, statistically speaking, Maria, is the first to call it a day? Do you think it's usually men or usually women? The first to call it a day. I would think it's women because they need to get home and get dinner on the table or pick up some kids or something like that. That's a very good, very good guess. It's not true according to this study. What? But I like your reason. You are certainly the logical one here. According to this survey of over 500 men and women who still work a nine to five job, when that clock strikes five, guys are the first to hit the door and women stay behind this it shows that more women are working beyond that eight hour work day and listen to this it's it's a it's a gap here 54 percent to 41 percent and not only this because it is a woman's world i will say that women are smarter you're certainly prettier you're you don't have hair on your back you don't stink the way men do you, you don't grunt when you eat i just i i bow before the ladies in my life but women are also harder workers. You take your work to the beach. 67% of women say they work while they're on vacation. Only 60% of men say they do. But uh, I, well, listen, you look at that statistic. Either way, too many of us are taking our work to the beach. You don't take your work to the beach. but that's, Yeah, that, that's a problem. Yeah. But if you, you take a laptop all the way down to the sand, that's a problem. The ladies are the hustlers. Does that make sense to you? Does that kind of ring true? Do you see that? Um, I see women hustling, but I didn't realize it was in the workplace for work. Yeah. I was thinking they were hustling just to try to do something to do something else. Like I'm hustling to save money for my kids to go to college or so we can go on vacation this year. Yeah. I think that um, there might be that a, a, a tinge of, of women wanting to to prove themselves or wanting to show how detail oriented they are and listen whoever works harder gets my respect i i think i think ladies rule the world and uh, this statistic or this study proves it here so hats off to you hustler ladies out there girl bosses <laughs> boss babes you do your thing He's the tan, tattooed connoisseur of conversation, and he's back. It's the Todd Newton Morning Show with Maria Todd. Maria, we were talking uh, last hour about how you and I kind of wake up. I mean, I, anybody that wakes up early for work or if you've ever done an overnight shift, your body kind of gets programmed and you just kind of start waking up on your own as it is. You know, and yeah. th- there's a little I think there's a, a, a at least inside of me, there's a there's a trigger. And, and when I'm sleeping every now and again, no matter how deeply I'm sleeping, I'll think to myself, 
ooh, you don't want to oversleep because you've got this or you're on the air or you've got this call or you need to send this email. Something triggers me to jump right up. I haven't used an alarm clock in a very long time, and your alarm clock is named Al. He just yeah. Uh, <laughs> he just gets up and starts banging stuff all over the place. And if he didn't, I would wake up anyway, because just for so many years of just doing this show. Yeah. We were talking about the dogs, too. You got pets, and those they just sit at pets, the, the, sit the side of the like bed. A Sunday, if you want to sleep in, because I, I, I'll go to church, but it's not till 11. So I'm like, I can sleep till like 9. Yeah. Oh, no. Dogs have to go out. <laughs> no, we can't be sleeping this late. And my dogs have learned how to knock. <laughs> With their, so just scrape you'll the be asleep, and they'll just keep it up. Well, we've got... Like, they'll scrape the door, they'll wait a couple seconds. It's like they, they do the hotel knock. Knock, oh. knock, knock. And if the door is cracked a little, I'm coming in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've got the two cats, Deed Martin and uh, and Luna Magic. And we've got the Pomeranian. I love these names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luna Magic Voodoo Mama. She's a good one. And then we have the Pomeranian River. Now, now River, you know, her, her bladder's so small. She'll sleep as late as we want. But these cats, man, they take their positions on either side of the headboard like a couple of gargoyles on a building just looking down. <laughs> You can just feel them looking down at you. And as Marie and I were saying last hour, I don't know what they're afraid of. There's never been a day when when Marky or I have forgotten to feed these animals. I don't know what the what the big thing is here, but they won't let you sleep. But if you do need a little help waking up, you're not alone. 61% of adults wake up with an alarm, and over 50% of those say they use the snooze button. Now, the snooze, is it's still nine minutes, right? If you hit snooze, that's another nine minutes. Does nine minutes make a difference? Yeah. It doesn't to me. I mean, When you're get- tired, I think you... You want to think it does, but it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, there is an alarm on my phone. I, I know the ringtone. And sometimes people out in public, I'll bump into someone who's using that same ringtone as their phone ringer. And when it goes off, <laughs> something happens in my body. I'm like, Ooh, you know, it's almost it's something telling me to jump to attention. Pavlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> trained. My iPhone's got me trained here. Uh, 5% of people, Maria, will hit the snooze Four times, four times, three percent of people who use alarms will hit the snooze button six or even more times before they get out of bed. Here's my question. If you're going to hit the snooze five times, why don't you just set your alarm for 45 minutes later and get up the first right? time it goes off? Just give yourself another 45 Isn't minutes. It, uh... I'm hit it one more time. Uh, let me hit it one more time. Uh. Because every time you hit it's that, it's not going to get better. Just get up. That's right. every time you hit that snooze button, you're getting more and more ticked off. You know, it, it, you're just getting more and more frustrated. It's like crap. Oh lordy. So uh, you know, if you're a snoozer, maybe just set it for another half hour. Treat yourself to that thirty minutes of sleep and wake up with a smile on your face. Tune us in, and your day's off to a good start. You can't lose. Cannot there you lose. Go. ToddNewtonMorningShow.com is our official website. You can also find us on Instagram over there, friend. Todd Newton Morning Show. Thank you for being part of the conversation. Subscribe now so you never miss a beat. For more Todd and Maria, visit ToddNewtonMorningShow.com. The Todd Newton Morning Show podcast. Great talk that will keep you talking. Produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved. <laughs>